Investing in U.S. Automakers by www.profitableinvestingtips.com We posed the question last fall, is GM a good investment? In fact, is investing in U.S. automakers in general a good idea? Most recent sales figures would indicate that this might be the case. The Chevy Cruze is now the best-selling U.S. car and Chrysler's Jeep Compass sales went up nearly 300 percent. Meanwhile, Japanese car production is hampered by the lingering effects of the worst earthquake and subsequent tsunami in the nation's history. General Motors is projecting total sales for this year of over 13 million vehicles. Investing in U.S. automakers would seem to be a good idea, at least in the short term. GM is still in the early days after its recovery from bankruptcy, and Japanese production will likely stay low for some time while the nation finds ways to increase electric production lost when several nuclear power plants were damaged by the tsunami. With the prospect of fewer Japanese exports to the U.S. in the near term, U.S. automakers could reclaim part of their lost market share. But will investing in U.S. automakers be profitable over the long term? The auto industry in the U.S. is largely to blame for the position it finds itself in. As foreign automakers invested in the technology for more efficient manufacturing and more fuel-efficient vehicles, the U.S. automakers made bloated profits selling oversized vehicles. The apparent disconnect from reality that plagued the Big Three was highlighted when they appeared before a congressional committee requesting protection from bankruptcy after flying in on private jets. The heyday of U.S. industry is over. Although American ingenuity persists, the fact is that Europe and Asia have long ago recovered from the devastation of the Second World War and are economic competitors. China has come out of its self-imposed communistic cocoon and is applying its unique brand of capitalism with a vengeance. The point is that U.S. industry needs to innovate, be cost-effective and productive. When investing in U.S. automakers, one should keep this in mind. However, putting doubts aside, a good investment opportunity today could well be investing in U.S. automakers. The major competitor to the U.S. automakers is Japan, and Japan has lost roughly 50 percent of its power generating capacity for the Tokyo Electric Company power grid. This is where the bulk of Japanese industry is located. There is talk of rolling blackouts of residential areas during the summer in order to preserve power for industry. There are also small companies that fear for their ability to survive until normal power supplies are re-established. This gives the U.S. automakers a window of opportunity to regain customers that they lost due to their own disinterest over the years. Over the long term, however, Japan will re-emerge as a great industrial power. The long-term investor will wish to do diligent fundamental analysis when investing in U.S. automakers in order to profit from such investments and exit if profits falter. We posed the question last fall, is GM a good investment? In fact, is investing in U.S. automakers in general a good idea? Most recent sales figures would indicate that this might be the case. We are neither promoting investing in U.S. automakers nor suggesting that investors ignore the opportunity. Rather, we offer an example of what sort of investment opportunity investors may choose to investigate. For more insights and useful information regarding investments and investing, visit www.profitableinvestingtips.com.